Power Public YouTube channel. Today we're going to be showing you the long awaited Galaxy running in and Dino tuning. So we got the engine a while ago and we did the unboxing. You can check that link out here. So we're going to do some testing with different ignition timing because it is, is adjustable and we can do that here on the Dino. So then when we hit the track we've got the car be tuned, the timing optimized and then we should be able to perform at the track. And uh, from what I've seen the Galaxies have been wicked. Uh, they did have a little bit of an issue with their uh, crankshafts, but they've adjusted those now. We've got the brand new bottom end assembly already put on the engine and it's ready to go. So here we go, let's get to it. Okay, so now we've got the engine installed on the dyno. It's the moment of truth. We want to see, make sure it's going to run and all that. I've set the jets to the recommended settings. One hour and eight minutes here on the low speed jet. One hour and 18 minutes on the high. So it should be all set to go. Everything's plumbed up and it's just a matter of switching it on. So let's get to it. Okay, so we need to mix up some petrol for the Galaxy engine and what we're going to be using here today is the Castor 100. Now the reason we use the Castor 100, it's a castor based oil, it is a little gummy so you've got to watch ring stick, okay, if you're using this a lot uh, and your service intervals are a long time on these dark strings mm. engines, they will build up a little bit of um, carbon around the, the ring and the ring can stick but for, for running in it's excellent, okay. Um, also to Castor oil is better for the engines that rev above 14,000 and onwards. Now the synthetic oils are okay, you can use those, but I prefer the castor oils for the high revving motors and the synthetics for the, um, the lower RPM engines like the Rotax that only goes to about 14,000. Everything above that, I switch over to the, the castor oil. So we are going to be mixing up two litres of oil here today for the, for the dyno. So we're going to use 50 mils per litre, so that's 100 mils. Now I always use a jug and a beaker when mixing my fuel up at the track. It's just a handy way to do it so you don't have to mix up all your fuel before you get to the circuit. And then you don't need to waste any petrol as well. So you can see how sticky that was mixed with petrol in there as well and the oil is still stuck to the beaker. It's really thick, this castor oil, it really sticks to everything and that's going to be nice when it's sticking to my piston and stopping that from seizing in the engine. You can see there on the, on the beaker there, just, I'm going to do a couple of um, flushes out there so that'll get the, uh, all the residual oil out of that. Mix that all up, beauty, beauty.
So we're running the engine here on the dyno and what's happening is the water it's a water brake dyno. So as I wind on the accelerator, you can hear the engine notes changing as the load's coming on. So what's happening is the computer is actually controlling a servo valve that's opening and that adds water to the brake which breaks the engine down. And that adds the load to the engine. So you can hear the free revs pretty easily, but if we hold the accelerator down, the load's going to come on. And you'll be able to watch the uh, tachometer here. And the engine will hold exactly at 7,500 RPMs. Now we can change that in the settings of the computer. It gives us fully computer control. And we can put our start RPM up or down. We can reverse our RPM from gaining to uh, negative or positive to negative. It, it's really, you can customize this program any which way you like. It's really powerful. I really love it. This thing's making 15 horsepower, it's just at idle, this is, um, well not idle, 7,500 RPMs. Now that's going to be probably the minimum, minimum we're going to see on a track. Um, now the power valve is supposed to open at 10,000, so we'll be able to see that when we're doing the power runs later on. We just need to get the water temperature up to about 60 degrees and then this engine's running, this is its last running procedure. Okay, so the easiest way to tune any two-stroke engine, in my opinion, is with a lambda sensor. This is an easy tune oxygen sensor. We just screw this into the exhaust pipe, and then we've got some um, LED lights here that flash and change color with the, the tuning of the engine. And I'm from practice over the years, I've noticed that most, if not all, engines operate the best on the orange and the green lights. As soon as we start to see a bit of red, the power will go down on the power graph from the dyno. So naturally I just tune onto those green lights and it's been consistent across almost every engine that I've tuned here at Power Republic. So right now, I'm just going to increase the RPMs because we're almost through our running in procedure.
right, so there you have it. That is the Galaxy 125 race engine. It's all run in and it's ready to go. We have got 32.3 horsepower or thereabouts. Now the tuning's a little bit rich because it's still just running in. However, I think with the little Lino mixtures, we'll probably see a little horsepower increase at peak because it's quite a flat line there on the dyno. And that's 20.5 Newton meters at 11,000 RPM. So it's got plenty of torque out of this little beauty. Um, the power valve is probably opening a little bit early, but we'll see what that's like on the track. So stay tuned. We will be racing this engine next year with Tommy Cooper in the tag light category here at Ipswich. So stay tuned for that because we'll be going to be cutting to the track, maybe for a bit of a live feed. We'll be testing it out over the summer and definitely be doing a race review of this engine after our first race in, uh, at the Ipswich round one club championship in February of 2019. So stay tuned. If you like this video and would like to see some more, thumbs up, subscribe, notifications, comments below, follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Power Republic, or go to our website, www.powerrepublic.com.au, grab yourself a t-shirt or a Galaxy 125 race engine. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.